Let us begin today to ponder this lofty goal, how we truly can become prominent as a research institution in the United States and throughout the world. Our goal will be to reach for the highest star. pleased to formally announce the creation of the Appalachian Scholars Program. This program is modeled after our successful Urban Scholars Program, which this fall opened the doors to a college education for 13 students from five urban areas in Ohio. I am pleased and proud to report that a $2 million commitment from John Kochik and his wife Char has elevated the Promise Lives campaign beyond its goal of $450 million. The President's climate commitment is the first effort by a major uh, segment of our society uh, to really make climate neutrality uh, not just a reduction, uh, its primary target. With focusing on the climate and focusing on the environment and helping to make Ohio a better place. Rod, this is your friend Vern Alden. Uh, congratulations to you on 10 wonderful years as president. We are very proud of you, your leadership, and your commitment. You are taking Ohio University to even greater heights. Well done, with warmest best wishes and many more happy and successful years ahead. President McDavis, I join the chorus of those celebrating and congratulating you on 10 remarkable years. As a graduate of Ohio University, it was altogether fitting that you should lead us through the bicentennial celebration. You opened and dedicated a magnificent student center named for John C. Baker. You provided essential leadership to the most successful campaign in the history of the institution. In all this, the steady companionship and the warm, gracious presence of your wife, Deborah, was a source of great strength for you. May the years ahead be marked by good health for you and Deborah and for continued success in your leadership of Ohio University. There are many notable achievements in your first decade. One of those is the expansion of learning communities. I also want to commend you and the College of Osteopathic Medicine for the rapid growth in both size and stature. 
I also want to commend you on the development of a venture capital fund in collaboration with The Ohio State University. I am really impressed by your work and the Foundation Board's work and the Advancement Staff's work with regard to the Promise Lives campaign. To have achieved $450 million as your goal. And so, Rod, this marks the end of your first decade as Ohio University's president. You have set the bar high and now we have even greater expectations for your next decade. Congratulations again to you, onward and upward. My dear Mr. President, five decades ago in July of 1964, at the ages of 15 and 16, you and I embarked on a journey of building a personal relationship and establishing a lifetime partnership that to this day has withstood the test of time. I am honored to have been by your side over the past decade to bear witness to your sincere and resolute desire in your role as Ohio University's 20th president to lift up your alma mater. You have brought about positive change and along with your team leaders have achieved many successes that contribute to Ohio University's reputation for providing the best student-centered learning experience in America. After 50 years, I still am in awe of you, inspired by you, and proud of the countless accomplishments you continue to make. After all, it is I who know firsthand how tenacious and motivated a leader you are, and how it is simply an integral part of your nature to be the best, to want the best for others, and to inspire others themselves to settle for nothing but the best. Congratulations, Rod, on a job well done.